what's up guys so today it's gonna be a little bit different uh video it's gonna be actually a movie review film review however you want to call it documentary review so i was uh i think i was in one of these uh facebook i mean not facebook uh youtube channels uh live stream and someone mentioned uh this film jack of all trades and someone recommended it they're like oh you know go watch it it's a great movie blah 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 right i'm like okay cool so um it's really hard to find the only place i could really find it was on uh youtube uh movie rental service thing that they have it's two bucks so it's not like a whole lot of money right so if you're interested in watching this movie, it's gonna cost you two dollars plus taxes, so about two fourteen, two fifteen, I think it was, for me. Um, I definitely would. Um, I would watch it if if you have nothing else to do, and uh, you know it's one of those uh, slow evenings or slow days. Uh, go ahead and spend the two dollars and watch it. It's not uh exactly what you get it's not what appears at surface right because when i was going into this movie i was uh expecting this movie to be more card based right about the baseball cards and the history of cards uh, and well it has its moments on as a collector right as someone who I've been uh, collecting baseball cards since I was a child. It has its moments of little nuggets throughout the movie where it teaches you something about the hobby, um, but it's not solely about the hobby. The actual plot is about something completely different. Um, and without really spoiling a whole lot about the movie and about you know the outcome, um, I'm going to really just go over, I'll, I'll discuss, you know, kind of what the buildup is and then the ending, of course, if you want to watch it, you know, go ahead and go watch it. But basically what this movie is about was the filmmaker, his name is Stu, and um, his father uh, left his family, you, you know, his, you know, him and his sister and his uh, his his mom uh, when he was 13, I believe is what, what he said. Uh, he left their family, divorce, whatever, right? And in the in you know in the process of doing all that, he left him a box of baseball cards, um, you know, and he he had no idea what they were, you know, and so then. He started going through his baseball cards and I guess it apparently brought back some memories and um, and he was kind of interested on the value of these cards. So then what happened was um, he started to dig around uh, at the values of the cards and uh, about 99.9% .9 of the cards he had were from the junk era, right? For, you know, the the mid you know 80s you know to the early 90s you know cream of the crop junk era wax cards and so they were pretty much uh worthless you know and it devastated him because he thought he had a fortune so then he goes on this long journey on uh determining uh what caused these cards to be worthless at this point and you know this 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 entire film you know it's 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 more of a documentary slash film because it's not a movie it's not these are real people real real life um conversations and scenarios that are playing out it's you know i don't think any of this is acting um i, I don't i forgot what um year it actually takes place but i think it's around 2017 2018 is when the film was was taking place it, it's a, it was released in 2018 
So I'm assuming it was probably released, you know, either that year or, I mean, it was filmed that year or the year prior. Um, so he goes and he starts to investigate, you know, um, why, you know, what happened to the card market from when he was a child to current uh, market, why these cards are now worthless, right? And in the process of doing that, it kind of, you know, builds up to what the actual uh, story plot of the movie is, which is completely different from baseball cards. Um, I, I think about 90% of the movie is about this uh, other plot. Uh, and only about 10% of the movie is about actual baseball cards. Um, so I, it's kind of misleading on how they kind of, uh, you know, kind, kind of like try to lead and try to push the baseball uh, card theme on this movie because it, it's, it's, it is, but it's not. Um, but like I mentioned, I think there are a lot of little nuggets throughout the movie that teaches you as a collector about you know about the hobby and about what other people uh ex experiences were with the hobby and stuff so at one point it's you know it could kind of drag on the, the movie's an hour and 25 min minutes long but at times i felt it was a little bit longer and some scenes just kind of like dragged on but overall uh it's not a bad movie probably out of 10 i probably would have graded maybe like um i don't know maybe like a five or a six um so it's not great you know i definitely would have not been happy if i would have paid for this at the movie theater and you know i had 10 bucks a ticket or something like that but for two bucks you know i think we waste you know more money on uh a lot more crazier things out there with two bucks than watching a you know de decent film right i mean so um i i recommend it but just be warned it's it's not the greatest movie but just uh go into it with some open mind mindedness right um you'll i think most people will learn at least one or two things from the movie about the hobby but um yeah, it's 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 a long movie. It's hour twenty five minutes long. Um, I recommend it. Go out and watch it if you like. Uh, you know, it is what, what what it is. You know, but if you watch it, if you have watched it, let me know in the comp in the comments. Uh, be interested to see what other people's uh, thoughts are of the movie. Um, yeah. But that's it, guys. Take care out there. Be safe. And talk to you later.